This week, we are continuing our French Alp series and our skiing adventures in Northern Alps. More exactly, in Auvergne Rhone Alp region in Avoria Ski Resort. Since we based ourselves in a small village named Rusternix near Cresvolon, we wake up early for a two hours long drive. We know it's a long drive, considering that we have also two hours drive back to the village, but as we will see, it's totally worth it. And yes, next day, we were pretty tired, but also extremely happy and satisfied to experience this magical ski resort called Avoria. Located at an altitude of 1,800 meters in the Morzin municipality in Haute-Savoie, long time a simple, very dry and not very fertile plateau serving as a pasture for farmers in the surrounding valleys, the resort took off in the 1960s. All began as a vision of the Olympic downhill champion Jean Vuarnet, the inventor of the so-called exposition, which is the result of unprecedented work of aerodynamics. At 27, this local athlete from Morzine is ending his sporting career and settled to realize his dream with the will of a visionary ready to move mountains. It seemed insane, in the time of the 30 glorious post-war boom years in France, to imagine a resort that broke rules of existing traditional ones and to focus on eliminating the cars in order to place skiing at the center of its project. Jean Vuarnet project succeeded to see the light of the day with the help of the Morzin municipality and the help of founders. Quickly after, the first ski lifts are put into operation. Jean Vuarnet finds himself short of financing and on the verge of bankruptcy. At that time, fate intervened with a fortuitous encounter with Robert Bremont, who contributed his expertise as a real estate expert and provided the necessary funds to continue and pursuing the vision of Avoria 1800. The vision of Avoria was entrusted by his father to Gérard Bremont a businessman, founder of the Pierre et Vacances, acquirer of Center Parks in 2003, and one of the founders of Avoria International Fantastic Film Festival. He designed with the architects Jacques Labro, Jean-Marc Roch, and Jean-Jacques Orzoni, a ski resort whose architecture qualified as mimetic, meaning that the shapes of the buildings being inspired by those of the mountains and remains unique in France that has earned Avoria official recognition as one of the great architectural achievements of the 20th century. After two hours drive that was needed for 85 kilometers, we finally reach Avoria. On there, we can opt for indoor or open car park, which is little cheaper. If you don't feel driving up here, there is Proden Express cable car, located down in the valley, that takes you from Morzin to Avoria in just 4 minutes. We park in the garage right at the entrance of the resort, and on stepping out of it, we were immediately amazed by snowy streets, interesting architecture, horse-drawn slates, skiers and boarders casually sliding through the resort, numerous people walking, children playing in the snow, and no cars at all. It looks like a ski paradise. We just can't get enough of it, and of course, we have to take a leisurely stroll to admire more this vision that started around 60 years ago. We soon see that resort offers all essential things that will not require anymore to leave it while on vacation here. Here are apartments, chalets, restaurants, bars, supermarkets, pharmacy, even cinema, ski rental places, ski schools, laundry services, babysitting services, swimming area, small ice rink, and many more facilities waiting for you to discover it. And of course, not to forget to mention all of the events that are happening over the season there or just after ski parties that we also witnessed. Truth to be told, we could spend here whole day just admiring the resort and relaxing and do other activities apart from skiing and would still be happy to be here. 
Every building has its own distinct contour and volume designed to imitate the curves and scale of the natural terrain in an expressionist style that highlights the beauty of the surrounding landscape. Wood is everything in Aboria 1800. The building's exteriors are adorned with red cedar wood tiles reminiscent of those typically found on the rooftops of Savoie. This design choice is further emphasized through the use of matching color schemes and the shingles are left untreated to naturally weather over time. The south-facing walls develop a mingred tint, while those facing north take on ash grey hue. The east and west walls adopt a chestnut brown shade evocative of tree bark and the nearby rocks. Avoria is distinguished by its exclusively pedestrian character and its central position among the 12 results that make up the Porte du Soleil ski area. Since its creation, this model that breaks rules with traditional results has always been one step ahead and has a responsible vision of mountain tourism. The resort is not limited to the winter season alone and its skiing practices. It's equipped in particular with collective leisure and sport infrastructures such as an aquafun center opened in 2012 and offers all the practices related to mountain during the summer with hiking or mountain biking. And not to forget to add also a little history about the name of Avoria. Its name developed from the family name of previous owner Chablet family, the Counts of Rovore. In the time of the ownership, these pastures took name land of Rovore. Then, over time, the pronunciation and the name of this land evolved into Avore, then Avoreas to finally become the name of Avoria as we know it today. Avoria has always had a magnetic pull on the media owing to its unique characteristics and avant-garde approach to communication. The resort, a popular destination among celebrities, started gaining recognition. However, Gérard Bremont, the promoter, aimed for greater publicity and worked towards enhancing the resort's popularity which was achieved with the introduction of the Fantastic Film Festival. This festival was created in 1973 by Lionel Chouchon and his company Promo 2000 at the request of the real estate giant Pierre Evacance. This made Avoria the first tourist destination to adopt event marketing. It was a risky move since, at the beginning of the 1970s, Fantastic was still a fledgling genre whose potential and future success could not be predicted. But Gérard Bremont is drawn to the concept as already proved by his track record of innovation with Avoria 1800. His team, like Pioneers, scrolls the globe for quality films, meticulously reviewing thousands of titles over two decades in pursuit of the gems that will be offered to more and more spectators. Avoria was lucky to present Duel by Steven Spielberg, the story of a truck which tirelessly pursues a man to destroy it. Dual received the grand prize and the festival entered the history of cinema. After Dual and Spielberg in 1973, follow Green Sun by Richard Fleischer and Phantom of the Paradise by Brian De Palma. Then, a what will be won among others David Lynch with Elephant Man and Blue Velvet, George Miller with Mad Max, James Cameron with Terminator and David Cronenberg with False Pretenses. Avoria Fantastic Film Festival launched many new movie directors that will make them known all over the world. For the first time, the members of the jury are not only filmmakers but also writers, singers, who serve on directors and actors. Despite this success, the festival stopped in 1992. After 21 years of existence in Avoria, the International Fantastic Film Festival moved to Gérard Mer in 1994. The Vosges Resort thus succeeded Avoria after 21 editions of the festival in the Alpine Resort. Since then, 
supported by many partners and more than 600 volunteers, the event has continued to gain notoriety, helping to convey the image of Gérard Mer throughout the world. By the way, if you want to discover Gérard Mer and its surroundings in winter, we invite you to watch our two films devoted to it. You will find links in description. But don't forget why we came here at the first place, to try the skiing slopes. Hard decision of choosing ski rental place because there are so many. Joking aside, we choose the one which is few steps or should I say slides away from the slope, we will start our skiing afternoon in Avoria. Avoria offers a wide variety of ski runs for all ages and abilities from complete beginners to freeride experts and is part of one of the largest link ski areas in the world, the Porte du Soleil. The Porte du Soleil ski area offers a unique diversity of landscapes. There are 600 km of slopes, served by 208 ski lifts and 400 km of snow-covered playground. If you ski 5 to 6 hours per day, you will probably need a fortnight to discover the entire ski area. This French-Swiss area is a great place to learn how to ski, but is also the perfect playground for ski enthusiasts. The Porte du Soleil ski area abolishes the borders between valleys and countries, connecting 12 French and Swiss resorts located between Mont Blanc and Lake Geneva, Morzin, Avoria, Châtel, Léger, Montrion, La Chapelle d'Abondance, Abondance and saint jean dolps in France, and Chambéry, Val d'Iliez, Les Crozets Chamoussin, Torgon, and Morgin in Switzerland. Key features of the Porte du Soleil ski area 208 ski lifts for 307 slopes, 600 km of skiing, 12 resorts, 30 special fun areas and snow parks, 2 countries, 1 ski pass. Of course, our ski pass is not the one for the Porte du Soleil area, it's not even for the All Avoria Resort area, but it's the one for Beginners area, which comes in 5 hour, 1 day and 2 day versions and gives you access from Avoria 1800 to the different beginners areas where you can make gentle progress. It can be used on 8 chairlifts, 6 ski toes, 1 gondola and 1 express cable car and offers many green and blue slopes. And what a luck, we begin with a blue slope, not even knowing it since we took ski toe to take us up and we assume that both slopes, so left and right ones, are green. Well, we make it just fine, probably because we didn't even know that it is a blue one. And how rewarded we were on our way back, taking a chairlift right next to a cliff giving us an amazing view. After that, we continue with green ones since we take time to study map with a little bit more care. And once the map is fully studied, we go around and just enjoy long slopes exchanging between green and blue ones. We make a little pause to listen and watch the live performance at La Folie Tous. And party is starting, but we continue with our skiing until the slopes close. The Avoria's pistes are divided in four sectors, the Lindare, O4, Fornet and Super Morzine. The latter being mainly connection to Morzine and mainly used by beginners and ski schools, used also by us. The Lindare offers stunning scenery and a variety of skiing options, including red and blue runs, as well as a single black run. Additionally, it is home to the Stash, a unique ecological snow park developed by Burton and the only one of its kind in France. In contrast, the Fornet area offers a vast expanse of skiing opportunities amidst towering rocks and deep crevasses. For those seeking the ultimate challenge, the O4 area is the place to be. This area features several black runs that range from 1,100 meters to 2,400 meters in elevation with some reserved exclusively for expert skiers. Although the World Cup piste is classified as black, it's relatively easy compared to others in the area. 
Avoria also offers 23 km of Nordic ski runs spread over seven loops. They harmoniously cross pine forests and plateaus to access the dominating ridges and admire the exceptional view of the surrounding peaks. The trails all have specific markings and signage. For enthusiasts, the Porte du Soleil offers 250 km of cross-country ski trails. We end our day with a well-deserved drink on deck chairs on the snow terrace right next to the piste before taking a walk one last time in this ski resort which has everything to please snow and winter sport enthusiasts. And by doing all this, we are accompanied by a beautiful sunset. See you soon for new discoveries.